Welcome back to Scotland. The first part of the show, we were taking a look at what is happening in FKF. PL Davis Maria visited uh, Kariobangi Sharks. Remember, they will be in action this weekend. Last week, they got a 3 2 win against Tasca. So, we had to visit them and uh, get to know what the expectations are for the week. And aside from that, Buruburu girls, they seek to reclaim the national basketball, we, uh, rather, girls title after winning in 2019 so it's been a dry season for them so this part of the show i want us to get into a conversation on a football tournament that seeks to nurture sports in the country now it's not only football but a number of sports and joining me in studio is none other than uh salim wazir Good afternoon, Salim. Uh, good afternoon, Robinson. Is how, are you, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Uh, yeah. Thank God we meet again. It's, it's always a pleasure. City. Yeah, I'm a city fan. Yes, 115 uh, charges. <laughs> yeah. that, that is where we are. 115 yeah, that's charges. That's where we are, but until, until you're proven guilty, Robinson. Yes. We all know the story. Oh, so you are... You are innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> until proven guilty, yes. Yes, yes. absolutely. So, <laughs> Salim, I want us to get into that conversation this evening. This will be the fifth edition of Salim, uh, not Salim, but Waziri Super Cup. Yeah. Fifth edition. I mean, why have you managed, or rather, what has made you do edition after edition after edition to the fifth edition? Yeah, I think uh, Robinson, again, is just, uh, we can say it's, it's God's grace. And they say, when you believe in something for so long, uh, they say the universe uh, conspires and, they, uh, uh, and it makes it happen. So I think as where we stand right now has just been a matter of putting in the effort, making sure that we stay afloat and making sure that the tournament keeps on running. And then again, is also the well wishers that we have had over the years. And like right now, this year, we are having a, a, a title sponsor in the name of One Expert. So it is just, it's just a matter of having oh, people. One Expert, one expect, one, one expect are also the sponsors of, of our show. Yeah, so yes. it's just a matter of having, having people around you who actually believe in the dream. And, and here we are, Robinson, and we thank God for it. <laughs> so, Salim, let me ask you. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. This will be the fifth edition. Uh, what is different from the fifth edition from the four editions that you guys have had? Uh, first and foremost, uh, it is uh, just a number of teams that has got to be uh, to be put out there. From I think we, we have started we started with sixteen teams and then we grew over the years and now we are we are talking about Robinson is going to be twenty four teams and again to ask what is different for the first time in the history of the event we are going to have three months of a football fiesta or a, or a sports fiesta like no other because we will start uh, next month uh, the launch will be in Webuye. That is October. Yes, uh, on the 10th at Webuye DB and then all the way from no uh, November uh, to December 31st when we shall be hosting the final at Pan Peopa Ilala Stadium. What, what, a person will ask why Webuye? Why not? Why not other parts of the country? I mean, are you trying to give back to the uh, to the community? Yeah, it's, it's just basically the community that uh, made me the man I am today. The people that have been around me as as a young boy to to a man I've become now. So I think it's just a matter of giving back to the society. And then again, uh, they say charity has got to be, be begin at home. So I'm giving as much as I can to my people back at home in Obuya town. Yes. So was it a super cup? First edition, second edition, third edition, fourth edition, it was all about football. Now yeah. you have rugby, you have basketball. I yeah. mean, where did that idea come from, from, you know, incorporating these other games into, into the tournament? Yeah, as, as the tournament grew, we realized there's not, not everyone plays football. There are a lot of people, and we, are, we understand uh, the western part of Kenya has produced some of the best uh, rugby players this country has ever seen. So we said, why don't we incorporate some, some of the other disciplines into, into Waziri Super Cup? And that's why the committee uh, advised me we start with basketball and rugby because uh, they, are, they, are, they are sports that have already built an infrastructure mm -hmm. in, 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 in the country and in, in Bungoma County at large. So we said, let us do this because... It is, it is much more easier to incorporate them into the tournament. So I think as we grow, uh, we're also planning that next year uh, we pray for life and then we'll add uh, uh, games like netball, volleyball, and then athletics. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Salim, uh, something I want us to talk about, uh, to see Jidanganya getting uh, <laughs> sponsors to come in yeah. to you know, the tournaments that we have is not easy. And you managed to pull 
you know, a couple of sponsors to come into the Waziri Super Cup. Yeah. How easy was mm -hmm. that? Oh, no, okay, not how easy. <laughs> how easy or how hard was that for you? Uh, Robinson, I, I will tell you this for free. As I stand here today, I've sent over 4,000 emails to corporates. And uh, it's just a number of volumes. I cannot blame them. It's a number of volumes they receive in a single year of people who are dealing with the same thing you know, or basically something different as, mu as much as sports is concerned. So it is just a matter of, and you realize some of these, of these CEOs, uh, when, they, when it comes to a point like one expert did, and then they tell you, oh, we just had to settle on you because the number of emails you have sent over the years, it is quite baffling. But it's just... It's just the way it is, is, is a, it's a, it's a way of you keep on pushing, Robinson. You keep on knocking on that door until one person opens it up. And you see, like, for example, this year, just, just to add some more information into it, uh, uh, one is better providing funds. It's going to be a huge charity event whereby we're going to feed uh, 1,500 families. We're going to give... So it's not only about football? It's not about football. It's, just, it's not, just not about football. Uh, the target is we're going to give uh, 3,000 girls sanitary towels or the dignity kits. And then to just to make it even better, to just the icing on the cake, we are going to, pro, uh, one expert, they are going to provide funds whereby they are going to boost businesses or help the locals uh, start businesses with a particular amount that is being set aside. So I think it is just more than football, uh, Roy Robinson. It is a matter of just giving hope to the hopeless. But when you talk about Waziri Super Cup, you are having it in Webuye, and in Webuye, or no, Western uh, in general, it's yeah. a region that, you know, has for a very long time provided, not, not, not even provided, like yeah. uh, we've seen a number of top footballers come yeah, yeah. up from there. You know, are you seeing that happening this year? Yeah, I, I see it, uh, Robinson, because uh, you look at it this way. From the tournament, we have players that have participated in the tournament. You're talking about currently he's playing in Serbia, Colin Sichenje is playing for Vojvodina, mm -hmm. uh, Vojvodak, uh, to just uh, to, to correct myself. He's a product who also has been playing in the Waziri Super Cup. So this year, we are, we are going a step high in making sure that we select, we select a 30-man team uh, that will be, will be taking part in the, in, the, in the Bungoma County Regional League. So it's a matter of making sure as much as we are going to play the tournament, we are also making sure there's continuity as far as these talents are concerned. So I think, uh, as you've said, there's a lot of talents in the grassroots and it is, Waziri Super Cup is just a platform that makes sure that these, these players can get something out of the talents that God gave to them. Each time you've come to studio, Salim, it's always been like, Two weeks before the tournament, <laughs> you've come to studio uh, one month before the tournament. <laughs> and this, this, time, uh, this time round, I believe that, uh, or rather, I understand you are running the tournament from uh, October yes. all the way to December. Yes. Why? It's because basically it's a number of teams. And uh, we used to do it in the past. It was just five days because the teams were lesser. And then again, you realize... It is, it, is, it is not my tournament anymore. It's, my, it's a tournament for the people. They come and tell you, it is what gives them joy. So the five days, they feel it's not enough for them to be as happy, as happy as they can be. So they told me, they advised me, the committee, why don't you make it a fiesta in such a way that it goes on for, for three months? Because Robinson, I tell you for a fact, people get to that pitch at 8 a.m., and they leave at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. That's just the fun it brings to them. So you can imagine for the next three months, uh, bearing in mind also is a town where Pan Pepper once it, it got shut down, there's no much more, there's activities. no life act yeah, activity. Yeah, yeah. So football is, is the very one thing that, that they hold their hope onto. So I think we are doing that because the locals have said, give us three months of a fiesta and we will give you all the crowd you need. <clears throat> now, football is one, brother, football is the biggest sport within the area. But when you talk about basketball, and yeah. then you talk about rugby, that is rugby sevens. Because yeah. if you're talking about uh, 15s rugby, pe people want to go to Cabras. Oh, Cabras, yeah. Yes. But when you talk about uh, basketball and sevens rugby and incorporating it into the games, yeah. uh, how many teams have been receptive with that idea? I think m most of the teams, because uh, Robinson, you, you, you look at it in this way that there are no there are no actually professional leagues mm. or uh, competitions in the western parts of it. So 
unless they take part in the in the rugby seven circuit whereby they some of them become invited teams and it's a one of uh, probably mm -hmm. in a year yes. so i think for them when you have a tournament that they feel like they're going to play for yes. for for as long as three months or for as long as uh, let's say a week it is something they embrace and you look at it in such a way that they know it's a way of also of you might find that they are sponsors or partners that don't actually want to be part of the tournament as far as fans are concerned but they'll come and tell you okay we're going to build your basketball court that is our that is our contribution into the tournament so for them they want to be a part of it because you find that there are no even there are no even courts and there are no fields that are strictly for rugby in those parts of the region apart as you have said that at the bull ring mm. there, 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 there are none so yes. you, you look at it this way and you, you realize that all those people all the teams now want to be a part of this event because they know it is just a way that they'll, they'll get much more from it than just participating. So, as we wind up this conversation on Waziri Super Cup, what is it in, uh, for the winners? Uh, for the winners, we are doing uh, uh, in partnership also uh, the title sponsors, One X Bet. Uh, we have settled with uh, 50,000 for the number one as far as football is concerned. And we're also doing that's, a, that is actually an upgrade from last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, because we did, I think, 30,000. Mm -hmm. So we are going to do 50,000 number one, 30,000 number two, and, uh, and uh, 20,000 number three. And the beauty is, Robinson, again, it is just much more than, than the amount because all these teams, I tell you, you rather give us equipment for playing but not give us the amount because, again, to top it all off, we're going to do, we're going to do kits and footballs and bibs and everything that a, a football team actually survives on more than the money. So we're actually going to kit uh, literally all the teams that will participate in Wazir Super Cup. Salim, I want to ask you a question that uh, you have to take some time to think about it. <laughs> okay. Fifth edition of uh, Waziri Super Cup. Yeah. So after winning the Waziri Super Cup, what next? For the winners? Yes. So we've won the Waziri Super Cup. So what next for the winners? Or it's just, you know, for the winners, it's, uh, is it about, you know, showcasing your talent so that yeah. you can be unpicked by scouts? Or is it just fun? Uh, f first and foremost, uh, Robinson, it's, it's, it's a proper platform uh, mm. because of the number of scouts that are usually at the tournament. That's one. But then, too, the most important part this year that they are going to get out of it, uh, something that has not happened for them uh, in the past years, is one, we're going to, uh, most, most, uh, most beneficiaries of, of the funds that are going to uh, be given uh, to open a business or start a business yes. is going to literally be, 60% uh, will be from the team that has won. Mm -hmm. People that have business ideas mm -hmm. and all that. And then, thirdly, Robinson, it is, we're going to select, as I've said earlier in the tournament, uh, we're going to select a 30-man team that is going to be playing in the uh, Bungoma County Regional League. So it's a win-win for everyone. Yes. And what does this cup, or rather, what does, uh, how does this cup, Waziri Super Cup, you know, uh, contribute towards the growth of Bungoma County in terms of sports? Yeah, in terms of sports, uh, our biggest is, 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 is just because we have created, we have created, uh, a pocket whereby all the players you, you look at it this way robinson we select we select uh, the best players come to play at the tournament that's one and then again we have we have switched in such a way that it is not, not just teams from bungoma county mm -hmm. uh, alone so we have invited teams from across across the county and in other neighboring counties to come in and compete against our very own in bungoma county so it is actually because they say to be the best, you actually have to play you have against to beat the, the best. Yeah, to be the best and play against the very best. So yes. we invite teams to that. That, that, that makes it. Uh, we make sure uh, in such a way that if Nzoya Sugar, for example, is going to play West Indies, is in Bungoma. He's in Bungoma. He's yes. going to play West Indies from uh, Eldoret. Yes, you, you can you can now imagine the kind of competition that is going to be there yes. for the local lad. So I think it's just it makes sure that all the players in Bungoma County now have to raise their socks because they are going to play against teams, uh, better teams from other counties. Finally, your final call to you know players and of course uh, fans of uh, sports from. Uh, across the country yeah. who wants to attend the Waziri Super Cup. Yeah, I would like first and foremost to just say you, you've got to start packing your bags, Robinson, you included, mm -hmm. uh, because it's actually a sports fiesta whereby 
in a, in a single day. It's bigger than a, a, Kenyan, a Kenyan Premier League match. We get like 3,000, 4,000 spectators in every game. So I think uh, first and foremost, you just have to make your way down there. And for the players, out, uh, for the, players the coaches, uh, they have just got to be prepared because this year is going to be a very, very special tournament. And we are doing the launch on the 10th of October to Buya DB Grounds. And then the finals will be on the 31st at Panpepa Ilala Stadium. 31st of December. Yeah. Well, as you wrap up the year. So, yes, that is all about uh, the Wazeli Super Cup. Remember, the finals will be held on the 31st of uh, December in Webuye. And Salim Waziri has told us what to expect, you know, what is different uh, from this year as compared to the previous four editions. Remember, this will be the fifth.